Hi guys, it's Craig from Country Values here. I just wanted to give you a bit of a market update for the Gingin and Chittering region for July 2020. Uh, interesting year we're having, isn't it? We found that uh, in January, February this year, things were just starting to improve. Market was, uh, we're getting a lot more people starting to look around at properties. Uh, the North Link um, Tonkin Highway extension was due to open, well, it was meant to open late last year and didn't end up opening till May this year. But um, people were, were starting to look around the region and, and um, starting to, uh, um, um, show some interest in, in our area. Um, then of course we uh, the coronavirus happened. Um, government had to close down regional borders and state borders so uh, from about March onwards uh, everything pretty much stopped and um, there was a lot of uncertainty in the in the economy and in the market and um, uh, yeah so everyone uh, there was nothing that really could be done for about three months there. Um, but then now here we are in um, in July 2020. We've got uh, the the regional borders are open. The virus seems to be under control in WA at least, and um, and the Tonkin Highway is open now. And uh, what an awesome road it is! At 45 minutes to the airport now, um, an hour into the city, and um, and non-stop to uh, to the airport from Jinjin or Bindoon. So. Um, Great asset for the local area. Anyone that wants to be to uh, um, anyone that's a FIFO worker or commuting to the northern suburbs, um, it's within within easy distance now. So, um, uh, and I guess the other thing that's the big change that's happened is the government trying to stimulate the economy. They've um, uh, offered um, federal and state government together have offered 45 grand in uh, grants to build a new home, and that has caused a massive increase in um, in demand for for, for blocks of land. Um, not only in the metro area but in the regional areas as well now. Uh, we're actually finding there's a shortage of land um, in the metro area now. So um, you've got a lot of people coming out to Bullsbrook, Chittering, Bindoon, Jinjin, um, looking at looking at vacant lots. We um, uh, The REWA stats for June have said that um, the, there's been an increase of, in sales activity by about 45% from uh, the previous year and about 55% from May. So um, June was just a massive big jump. Um, but when you look deeper into those figures, house sales I think were about 15% up and vacant land sales were nearly 300% um, increase in, in sales volume. We found in our area, um, in the last, probably the last 30 days, we've had about 27 sales that we've uh, negotiated, and which is just, um, obviously uh, very unusual for our region and um, so we're still busy negotiating contracts and um, every every day we're getting new sales so um, uh, uh, yeah big percentage of those are vacant land but um, we're also getting some demand for established houses and I think once you what you're going to find is when the land does start to um, uh, land prices are, are starting to increase. Um, I know developers in some areas, developers, particularly the metro area, they're starting to push their prices up. Builders are starting to push their prices up. And that's really gonna offset a lot of that, those gains for people building new homes. So I think there we're gonna start seeing a shift back towards established houses if, um, if that trend continues. Uh, but um, yeah, look, so for, for, if you're a buyer and you're looking to, um, to buy in the region, um, definitely there's still some, some opportunities available. We've got vacant blocks in Bindoon for uh, half acre blocks for 85 grand. So um, uh, yeah, still some great value blocks around um, Jinjin. We've got um, uh, one hectare lots for under 200,000 still so and beautiful views and uh, fully serviced so um, yeah so no need to panic there's still some great buyers around um, come and have a chat to us in uh, at any time um, we can give you some advice on what's what the best options are for you um, and give you some finance and um, um, and building options as well for um, uh, we can point you in the right direction um, yeah, so uh, interesting to see what happens over the next six months. I think we'll probably see a little bit of a, a spike in land sales now and then that will start to drop off towards the end of the year. But um, it has certainly stimulated the economy, certainly stimulated um, activity in our region and, um, and we look forward to, uh, uh, to the future. So um, uh, any questions, give us a call. My name's Craig Hine from Country Values Real Estate. Have a great day.